knocked him over, the bales nowhere around. Virat Kohli, you beauty. Got the highs but not the distance. Stained gun on fire. Pit stop and beautifully driven. This is magnificent. Hey there guys, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the digital home of cricket, Cricket Reborn. Well guys, have we ever heard the term Sneko Meta? Yes, you heard it correct. Sneko Meta. Well, 60% of the Indians are almost cricket fans and they are pretty aware of it. And you are right guys, that graph like structure that is used by the third umpires while taking a DRS or you know while uh, a reviewing, yes, that is what a sneaker meter is all about. And so we are gonna learn in this video where is this sneaker meter actually located and how does it work? Who invented it man? So what are you waiting for guys? We are gonna learn all of these out here. So fast in the seat bills and uh, let's who invented the Snikometer? Snikometer was first invented by Alan Plaskett, a computer scientist that dealt with modern day technologies of mid 90s. It is also known as Sneko, but presently it is known as Ultra Edge. What is the working principle of Snikometer? Speaking about the working principle, Snikometer works on the principle of graphical display of differentiating sound frequencies hitting different surfaces. Snikometer consists of two things such as a sensitive microphone that is located in a stump, an audio filtering software and uh, perhaps an oscilloscope. The sensitive mic located at the stump catches hold of the sound made by the willow of the bat and the leather of the ball. The sound wave is then filtered in a music technology software and then is graphically plotted with the help of CRO or perhaps a highly designed software. How to understand if the ball is actually hitting the willow of the bat or if it's hitting uh, the dust you know, of the ground or if it's hitting uh, any soft particle like the elbow pad or the gloves? Here are two images depicting two different snikometer graphs. One has a sharper rise and the other has a distorted blunt rise spread over a longer period of time. Whenever a ball hits the bat there is a small sound heard for an instance and therefore gets a sharp raise in the snikometer graph. On the other hand, when a bat hits the ground or the elbow pad or gloves, the sound heard is different and not as sharp as compared to Villa of Bat hitting the leather ball. Now this graph is slow motion and is matched with real-time match broadcast for us to witness and judge properly.